We open today at Buckhorn Chapel, where a beautiful wedding was scheduled to take place. Everyone was in attendance. Even the groomsmen wore their Sunday best rented tuxedos. But that wedding is not going to happen. We're standing in the middle of a insect-driven massacre. The sun is directly overhead. It's noon, the time that the wedding was scheduled to happen. And instead of a wedding, we see a melted pile of groom and our three normie heroes. We have Bert with his smoking 22 caliber revolver, which he had luckily tucked into his, uh, into his tuxedo. We have Roy with a strangely glowing hand. And we have Johnny, a.k.a. Jay Lachey, with his uh, bu- bug spray pump bottle. Uh, we have two dead insects that stick about six feet up into the air, and they are now frozen in time, uh, just dead husks. And we have the holes in the ground that Alex, our bride, and her coral dress-wearing bridesmaids disappeared down under the toe of enormous digger insects. It's noon. They're supposed to be getting married right now. Yeah, um... Whoa, what the fuck happened, though? I, I just... Never seen, uh, never seen bugs this big. Look at my hand, bro. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. It's wicked cool. Oh, my gosh. I don't... Do we clean up? Do we... Do we I'll leave? Be, it, do, I don't think do we, we can just leave. We, do we I mean, call we got, the cops? We gotta report I mean, a, I don't, a murder. I don't know if I got do, cell phone signal up here or anything. We, I, my phone's up in the room. Do we, do we like... I mean... Is there anybody... Call the cops? Is it, are we the only survivors? Uh, Why us? Nothing. You guys, uh, roll me some perception checks. All right. right. I rolled a three. Again. Here we go. I got a 14. I got a a 14 as well. And I have have minus one, so I got a two. (laughs) You, um... I'm I'm busy taking off, uh, like, the tuxedo I'd wrapped around my face, so I'm just kind of, it's, like, kind of got stuck around my head as I'm trying to pull it off and so it's just right now I'm just flailing with my jacket yeah so you're flailing around with your jacket not seeing anything kind of uh, still tasting the insect spray (laughs) in your mouth Uh, you guys are not hearing anything you you're fairly certain that you're alone anyone you you're not convinced that you're the only survivors but no one else is out and about they uh, (laughs) if they survived it's because they took cover somewhere and avoided detection. Should we, uh, should we go look for people? I mean, should we go see if, see if we can find anybody in the church or? I think we should maybe... go. We should, we should at least find a landline. You know, yeah. we got, we yeah. got a report. I don't, I don't know. Do, do we call the ranger station? I don't. Do, it's big animals. Yeah. Those were, those are like people animals. Yep. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't. Really... And Johnny, John, Johnny's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Johnny's dead. He's dead, bro. Okay. We, all are. we we were supposed to be his best man, and we we didn't do anything. We just we we couldn't do anything for him. We we're the worst men. We are the worst men. Fuck. Nah, dude. God, Johnny's dead. We... This is unprecedented, like, fucking circumstances. We did what was best during the time, right? Like, yeah, but it still like, wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, yeah. And it fucking sucks. But what else are we supposed to fucking do with fucking, like, big-ass bugs? Like, from fucking King Kong movie. 
shit. Yeah, like, what Cock. the hell? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to go see if my phone has any signal, and then uh, if it doesn't, I'll just look for a landline or something. I don't know. <clears throat> There's got to be one in the church. I'll Gotta go look be. for one first. Uh, I'll go ahead inside. I think as uh, Jay heads inside, inside, inside? As Jay heads inside, he does one of those just classic bro punches to the wall when he's angry. Yes, the bro punch just to the a, side of the church. But he the hits white the door church, frame. You walk in the side door from which you came. Yes, you do remember that there's an office back uh, in the changing area where the groomsmen were and the bridesmaids were. There's just a, t- I mean, it's like a closet that's got a desk shoved in there that uh, that is uh, mostly probably for mailings to uh, send out church news to members. And when I say mailings. This is the type of church that would use um, that would use actual snail mail. Okay. Perfect. Um, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and check that office room and see if I can uh, see if I can find like a landline or something. Okay, cool. So uh, roll me uh, an investigation check for. Uh, so you know where the office is. You head back there. Roll me an investigation check for the office. Okay, that's better. That's a nat twenty. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So you walk into the um into the office and sure enough there is definitely a landline there you can see a space where someone usually has a laptop they have power cords that they left and they've sort of taken away you expect it's probably some of the event staff because again this is mostly a um an event place as opposed to an actual functioning church so they have left their power cords but there uh but there is no computer internet access anything like that you do have a solid landline you look around the office and you really don't see anything of any real value Again, uh, they, they're they're used to people coming in, renting the place, and kind right. of snooping around a little bit. So there, there's just there's it makes sense that you're you're not going to come across a lot. Yeah, no, I'm just looking for the phone. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the landline and dial nine one one. Not nine one one Buckhorn Creek uh, operator. What is your emergency? Hey, uh, yeah, I'm I'm at the chapel. Uh, uh, there's been there's been um, murders, multiple mur- bugs, a lot of bugs, bugs you, murdering. Did you say there's? Did you say there's been there's been murders, sir? Yeah. Uh, that, well, I mean, if if bugs killing people is murders, it's not small bugs though. They're big bugs, and they kill people. There's a lot of dead people here from bugs. Sir, are you on medication? Is there any medication? Have um, are you uh, are you under? Th- treatment for any conditions I, I just took my daily vitamin i i i, I swear i uh, my uh, the wedding was supposed to happen and now J- he's dead johnny's dead sir do you have family members that i could contact they're, they're uh, not someone, here. someone they're, they're who not, looks after I, you i know i sound ridiculous you gotta send someone up here i, I promise you like you, you're not being a very good operator if you're just questioning my health when i said there have been people dying here Oh, 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 hell no. You don't question my job skills. Like, I am here to help. I'm and just I don't saying. Attitude from you. Yeah. You're, you're a first responder. I you're am. Supposed to be sending. I, I answer, which means I answer the phone, which means that I am the one who is doing you a favor here. Doing me a favor? I, I the, people are dead. It's, look, sir, if you. If you can just let me know uh, who your primary point of contact is, it's I will reach out to them. I'm a 26-year-old man. I I'm, I just contact me. I'm single. I don't know. I'm just living the life. That's not the point. So the point no, is there... so no medical contacts for your. Is there a hospital that you came I mean, from? I, I got a mom. Yeah, I was born in one. No, is there is there a hospital where you have resided? Is there um. A Do I live in a hospital? No, I live in a house. Who is your I, doctor, I sir? I don't have health insurance. I'm a bartender. Sir, are you saying you do not take medication? Is that true? No. I mean, yeah, occasionally I smoke a joint. I, but I just not uh, <laughs> medicating is what. So, so, uh, so I'm just making <laughs> notes here. Uh, self-medicating, uh, drug murders. Down. No health insurance. You don't this have to say bug murders. You can say bug attacks. Maybe Sorry. murders aren't the right word. Oh, I like think, a, uh, I think you forget to tell them about the, like, people made of bees. 
maybe that'll make them like take you like tell them about the people made yeah. of these. I think they'll Sorry, believe I'm here that, right? In the background. Yeah, yeah. That's that's my buddy. He's reminding okay. me. There were bees okay. inside of people. The people they were drunk, but they weren't drunk. They were full. Sure, of I'm bees. gonna. I am going to hang up the phone unless you are willing to provide me with the it's contact like, information. What if there was a? What if I was little Susie? What's her name? And there was a murderer with a knife and standing in the bedroom with me. And this is, you're going to be like this? Is this how you would talk to them? No, you would probably send them help. What? Because so, I'm just because I, I have. Need, I need you to calm down. I need I, you to calm down. I can't calm down. My best friend just died. Okay, your best friend just died. Let's start there. Is this a real friend, like, a, or <laughs> an imaginary person, yeah, or he's a real is, friend? He, he helps. Does he have a name? Yes. Yeah. What's his John, name? John Balbadier. And he teaches people to read, and he, he, he's given all his money to charity to help starving kids' pets in Africa. This person sounds like a fantasy. He's a, he's a lawyer. I just found out he was a lawyer today. I don't know why. <laughs> but he's a lawyer. He's given all his proceeds. Everyone who, there's more guests that are at this party. They're feeding African kids' pets, and the bugs killed everybody. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and send someone out to <laughs> see you. you. I just, yeah, I just want you to go and um, I'm gonna go out where the they can step. clearly see you. They'll see a lot more. Keep your hands visible as they approach, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not going to wear gloves. Okay, Edit. all right. <laughs> I'm going to hang up the phone. And look, <laughs> the police are on their way. <laughs> That's good, man. You did a good job. I think you really told that person. I just, I, they weren't listening. I tried to tell them. And they... Hey, it turns out I have cell phone signal. Yeah, uh, so I can just, you know, I can call next time if we need, if we need some help. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a, should we? I'm, a, I'm gonna go sit down on the front steps. Okay. And just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to follow you and uh just cuz uh you shouldn't be alone outside. But uh I'm gonna, I'm just going to kind of take a peek in some cars and see if uh see if anybody see if anybody is hiding in a car or something. All right. Roy, roll me a perception check. That'll be a uh 12. Okay. You're feeling a vague sense of urgency, and you're not sure why. It's something related to the to the um, sort of these feelings of power that that you're feeling in this glowing hand, and it all seems to seem to be interrelated. But you're it's almost like um, you're having a lot of experiences at, at once that are unusual. Anxiety is definitely part of that experience. Um. You're right, bro. Any guys got a fucking uh, Xanax or something? Uh, hold on. Uh, let me check my bag, actually. Uh, and I need to get my cards read. Can I... Uh, I got vodka. Can I... Andy, is there a roll I can do to see if I pack some Xanax? Like, uh, <laughs> see if you have... Uh, yeah, you do do a medicine check for me. <laughs> and, Perfect. And, and if you <laughs> hit, if you hit 15, check. you have Xanax. All right, perfect. Medicines plus zero, so straight roll. Nat twenty, baby. Oh, you have a pharmacy. Oh, oh, let's see. Like, are you sure you want Xanax? Because I, I have. It. Like you open up your uh your in in one side of your tuxedo jacket, you had a concealed carry holster, and the other side you have <laughs> a pharmacy. You've got multiple, you could treat uh, diabetes, you've got insulin in here, like you've got insulin. whatever people need. You're totally carrying a med pack inside your tuxedo. Got some Band-Aids, some Claritin. Uh, oh, Xanax, here you go. <sighs> Wait, was that Xanax? Yeah, that was Xanax. Yeah, that was Xanax. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just, uh, is my hand still glowing? Yeah. It is. It, it, it's, a very, it's a very faint glow, but it's still kind of there. And it feels good, just so you know. Like, you 
you feel a power going through your body you've never felt in your life. Like you, it's not, it's not a trembly power. Don't get me wrong. It, there's, like I said, you, you're feeling anxious, but the power sort of underneath, those seem to be unrelated <laughs> feelings. And you, guys, you like, you like the feeling of power that, that you've had recently. Guys, uh, what do you think is like, what do you think this is? Like, uh, like, I don't, I don't know. It's like bioluminescence, but uh, it's, it's like does fireworks. Do you think I need to lay off like the essential oils or something? I mean, if it's making you shoot freaking laser beams from your hand. I ain't ever, I mean, I ain't ever seen Gwyneth Paltrow shoot laser beams out of her, you know, like, I don't think it's the oils. This is something else entirely, I think. <laughs> uh, but do you want to check? the cars with me just in case something pops out and you can like all right can you control that thing uh hey uh think fast i'm gonna toss uh i don't know i just toss something up in the air i'm gonna try to like shoot whatever he (laughs) go roll me uh roll me an attack roll to uh to see if if anything happens i'll just like i toss my like old shoe that i changed out of or something i got a fucking uh 12 um you um you do you do pop <laughs> off uh one of those yeah. force play. And, but you're pretty you're pretty shocked by it you're nowhere close to hitting a shoe that he threw uh and, and in the and in the process you do blast out a stained glass window in the in the sanctuary whoops i mean just chalk it up to bugs right yeah, I was. I mean, I, I hate I to like, say it, but how, who's gonna yell at us? How is that? Uh, how do how how the f- uh, if if, uh, if, if, if uh, uh, I don't know. I wish I could say I'm more confused about your hand, but I think with everything that's going on, that I mean, that's the best part of everything. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't Let's go check some cards. That's well, yeah, okay, okay. Let's go check Let's some cars. Jay, money, you can get some fresh air. Yeah. Uh, I think as <laughs> he walks out, too, I'm going to just open up my bottle of vodka that I have and just take swigs. Sure. You, guys are, you guys are getting turned up for the murder investigation that's just coming. I got dealing it. with grief. <laughs> Poor coping mechanisms by our heroes at the outset. All right. <laughs> you guys... <laughs> You guys head out the front door of the um, of the sanctuary, and I want everybody to roll me perception checks again. Roll the snatch twenty. Shit. Thirteen. She get seven. What'd you roll there, Jay Lachey? I rolled a three. All right, you guys don't. Minus one. You guys don't see anything. Minus you one. walk out, and there's like the sunlight blinds you. Uh, as you walk out, you think you hear these oh, whirling, gruff voices for a moment. But by the time the sun, uh, uh. you sort of get the sunlight out of your eyes, you don't see anything uh, over by the stream where you heard those voices. Uh. The yeah. parking lot is about 150, 200 yards straight ahead away from the picnic area where the bee, uh, where the voodoo zombies burst into their swarms of V's. Hey, uh, J Money, if we go down to the parking lot, you're going to be okay here, or do you want to come with us? No, uh, I'll be fine. I'm just going to sit and just take a breather. All right. Um, I, I promise. So, I hate, I'm, like, I'm not going to do anything weird or anything. I'm just, yeah. Just need to take this in. You, uh, something happens, you yell for us, all right? Yeah. Yeah, right. of course. All right. All right. Uh, we're so, going to walk, start walking down towards the parking lot. Yeah, you start walking down towards the parking lot. This is a wedding for about 75 to 80, so there's probably about 40 cars or so. They're lined up. You've got everything from your little uh, convertible sports car. There's a classic car that presumably the bride and groom are going to drive away in. It's got uh, decorated as just married kind of on the side. The whole strings and cans streamer sort of thing going off the back it was obviously his part closest to the to the chapel is mostly sort of a display for people to see there's uh there's your uh there's obviously there were people who uh who 
John knew uh, from 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 the surrounding area, gone to high school with things like that. It's a lot of pickup trucks uh, sort of at one side. And then you get more towards Alex's family. That was definitely uh, sort of a more well-recognized blue blood South Carolina family. And so that's where you see more some, some BMWs, some things like that kind of on the other side of the parking area. They've almost, it's almost like they separated as the bride and a groom side, uh, mm -hmm. the groom side, much more outdoor vehicle, the bride side, much more uh, upscale urbanite. Hey, is, uh, if anyone's hiding in here, it's all safe. The bugs are gone. Uh, we're just trying to help anybody. It's, anybody need some help? There's a, there is a sedan. It's a, a, a Cadillac sedan that all of a sudden the engine uh, fires up and it moves forward and turns right out of the, uh, into sort of the little driving path between the cars. And they are driving uh, away at a high rate of speed. All right. Hi. Uh, Glad to know you're alive, fucking ass. Asshole. Didn't even. Didn't even sign the fucking registry. I guess uh, that answers our question. Um, we'll just do one lap around, see if we see anybody, and then head back up to J Money. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to leave him too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he has that bug spray and shit, but he's hurting. He's hurting yeah. big time. Yeah. I think we all you, are. You circle around and find the decapitated body of a woman with uh, very high heels. Uh, in the parking area, which is uh, particularly upsetting. Other than that, it seems like most people had parked their cars and moved on towards the reception area and the chapel. So you are not finding people hiding in the cars, unfortunately, anything like that. It looks like standard fare as you look in the cars. There's some uh, of those sun protector things that are stuck up in the windshields. You see standard fare. A lot of people have junk in their cars, Chick-fil-A cups, things like that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Do you? I'm. I'm gonna. I guess just because she's like the only person we found, I'm just gonna take my jacket off and just kind of put it over the body. Mm. I know there's a ton of them around, but this is the one we came across. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go back up. You're leaving your um tuxedo jacket with your pharmacy and your uh concealed carry holster in it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> how about the, I leave my jacket because I mean these Thanks. guns kind of need to breathe anyway. So. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Roy, Roy leaves his jacket after you realize how much stuff is in Bert's jacket. That was it's nice, pretty though. Pretty much all of my, it's pretty much everything I own is in this Fucking jacket right now. Of, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Roy, your anxiety is increasing. You're starting to feel like uh, you need to go. I think we need or to get Johnny. I think we need to get out of here. Like, uh, I don't think we. I don't think we should wait for the fucking dispatcher to send out I help. I don't think they're gonna the help us. From the sounds of it, yeah, I don't think they're gonna send anybody. All right, let's. I mean, yeah, let's. I feel like we did everything we could. You know, we tried to help, and we got people on the way that can actually do something. So, yeah, yeah I'm down. Let's let's. I, I'm okay. Never never coming back here ever again you know i'm yeah. ready to put this place to my back yeah all right let's go let's go get the big guy <clears throat> so we're gonna head walk back up to the chapel heading towards jay jay Lachey. Okay. jay what are you doing right now um i'm kind of just doing the sitting sitting on the steps you know i got my arms between my knees uh i think the bottle of vodka i have is just empty just like laying on its side by my feet at this point just being sad yeah you uh roll me one more perception check all right it's uh it's a 15 minus one so i got a 14 all right cool out of the corner of your eye as you look over at where the battle took place and the two dead bugs sticking up out of the ground you see the holes that alex disappeared into and and you see a shimmering uh, almost like a, it's just sort of a, it's sort of a ephemeral. It's a, a golden tint, um, but but just the way your eyes look is almost it almost like the the darkness of the hole just just doesn't quite look right, and and uh, there's almost like this shadow there that just 
I don't know that that hole. It just looks weird as you look down into the hole. And again, this is you're a long way away, and so the it was almost yeah. like movement in the in the hole almost caught your eye. I've been reeking a little bit, but maybe I'll go. I'm gonna grab my bug spray. Mm-hmm. And I want to go see if there's anything in here because I still kind of still pretty pissed. Yeah. And uh, you know, I want to get if there's some big bugs in there, I'm gonna just yeah, yeah. take my anger out on a bug. Sure. This hole's about four feet tall, and it was enough that they could pull the bridesmaids into, um, and and presumably other people who who were nearby. And this thing's about four feet tall. You have to stoop a bit to head down into it. It's a tight space. It's probably about three to. Four, it's probably four feet wide and four feet tall. You definitely, uh, definitely, no one can get past you. Your shoulders are rubbing against the Carolina dirt as you kind of uh, drop down into this hole. And uh, sure enough, it, it runs away underground. This is not something that has collapsed down. It's, uh, it's a passageway that was dug out by these bugs. It doesn't look super stable. Uh, it is really very dark. You do, again, you do get this feeling <coughs> of um, almost like a, a shimmering, almost like a mirage in this hole just just kind of up ahead in the darkness uh can i take my my phone out and turn the flashlight on so i can just see yeah. a little bit better yeah and uh hey hey guys roy and uh roy and bert roll me perception checks real quick i guess i've walked kind of far yeah you're starting to, you're 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 gone like you're i mean uh, you're up under the i'm gonna earth. keep i'm gonna keep like yell over my just yell that kind of as loud as i can but then keep walking forward like, Excellent. I'm not waiting for them to respond. All right, cool. As you move forward and you've got your cell phone out, you do see this mirage. You see the just something about the, the, the way the light hits the um, hits hits whatever it is, this image that's there. You can you can just for whatever reason, you can sort of sense that it's there. Um yeah, but you're still not exactly sure what this is. You can see right through it. It doesn't look like anything transparent, but it just it's almost like the world just shifts a little bit, like one degree as you look through this uh, mirage. And it, I don't know. You, it, it doesn't. It doesn't feel. Doesn't feel scary. Doesn't look dangerous. It's more of a, almost like a, a rainbow underground. Not with the colors, but with the transparency. And you know, you kind of see it when you turn your head one way, and not so much when you turn it another way. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do the thing, in movies whenever they kind of come across. Like something like this, and just kind of like stick my hand, like poke it first, and yeah. try and stick my hand through. So as you start to poke it, uh, you, and you start to poke it, at first you don't feel anything. Then as you sort of stick your finger farther in, you start to feel uh, cool. It's almost like uh, like the air temperature in the cave beyond this point drops significantly, and uh, you sort of stick your your entire forearm through this through this mirage, and, and uh, it starts to feel almost wet and cool almost like little um like almost like little needles uh, in your skin not not in a painful way but that little prickly cold feel and it just it feels abnormal but in another way you you're kind of into it it kind of it's kind of an yeah. exciting yeah almost an exciting feel for you I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep going all right cool you push farther in and step through this mirage and as you do it's like you're just submerged in ice water you just feel this shock come through you but you love it it is like this uh the most Uh, exciting refreshing thing that has ever happened to you it's just like jumping into a beach up in new england it's like when you were in new england on the hottest day of summer and you jumped off of the rock ledge into the pond and the mountain stream water just sucked the air out of you and you loved it. That's what this feels like when you step through it. That was nice. Cool. And beyond that, the path seems to just continue on. Uh, I'm still kind of looking for something to fight. So sure. I keep going. Bert and um, Roy, what are you, where are you guys? So roll me perception checks, first of all. Uh, <clears throat> I rolled a Nate. I rolled a 21. <laughs> all right. Roy sees uh, Jay go into the hole. So you, you uh, Bert turns around, comes out of the parking lot, 
and Jay is completely gone. Fortunately, from all the way in the parking lot, you catch sight of uh, the tiny figure of Jay disappearing into the hole. I mean, I'm 5'9". Where the fuck did that guy go? But you're a couple hundred yards away at this point. So it's not the tiny figure (laughs) because of your stature. It's because of your distance away from... I know. He just... Just don't call him small. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna grab Bert. And what? I'm just what? gonna be like, what? dude, dude, we gotta go. Johnny Johnny just fucking disappeared. He like vanished in fucking thin air. What the fuck but, thin air. Like I just but, saw him. Okay, but, go. Like, come on, I don't I don't, don't know what the fuck he is. Come on, come on. Go. <laughs> we gonna run out of yeah, the way. Like a we saw jog. Him. Yeah. Hmm. What the fuck is this guy? You guys get to the hole, and uh, it's it's Roy knows this is the hole that that Jay went down. You're standing at the top. You see it kind of drops down uh, into the ground, and then sure enough, turns into a uh, into a tunnel that runs northward away from the stream and the chapel. Where the fuck did he go in here? He went in there. Yeah, dude, I saw him. That's where those bugs were taking people. That's where they took Alex, dude. I think Fuck. I think he's mad. I think he's not. Uh, gotta... I think he's going to yeah. get in trouble. We need to go get him. Yeah, we just got to be prepared for what we're going to see down there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. God damn it, Johnny. You guys, you guys head into the cave. It, <laughs> it is pitch black. Uh, are you using cell phone? Yeah, cameras? I get the cell phone out and get yeah. the flashlight going. Okay, so you guys are uh, you guys are doing that, and you can't see Johnny up ahead. He uh, he has moved. By the time you get all the way over there, he is beyond your flashlights in what seems to be this straight tunnel. Jeez. Hey, oh Johnny, J Money. Johnny, uh, wait for us. Don't get too far. Like, fucking bugs, bro. Like, come back. Hey, guys. I just want to jump in here real quick and introduce myself and the gang. I am uh, Andy Rourke. I am your dungeon master and possibly your veterinarian, if you happen to live nearby. I um, am so thrilled to have these wonderful players. I've got Dustin, who plays Sphere Boot and Bert. I have Maddie Fuller, who plays Amari, Enid, and Roy. And we have Nate Olette, who plays Scarf, Ma, and Jay Lachey. They, uh, they pour their hearts and souls into this, as do I. We have a wonderful time, but gosh, we, uh, it means the world to us, uh, to have some support. I mean, all, we, we will take the smallest amount of encouragement, and we will run with it. Like, it didn't take a lot of encouragement, but a little bit. If you want to encourage us, all you got to do is uh, share the podcast with your friends, so some people listen, and, or even better, write us an honest review on iTunes. It really does make all the world uh, of a difference to us. You can find uh, the podcast on Podbeam, on Spotify, on iTunes. Uh, we're working to get it on Amazon, but it is all there. We've also got the YouTube version. If you like watching your D&D, Dustin does an amazing job of putting together a, uh, a fun visual interface. Uh, new episodes drop on Monday night. You can find the Blue Ridge Adventures Guild on YouTube and also on Facebook, but we'd love to see you there. All right, let's get back to this episode. Hey, yo, Johnny. Jay Money. Johnny, uh, wait for us. Don't get too far. Like, fucking bugs, bro. Like, come back. Jay, you're not hearing any of this, just so you know. <clears throat> All right, I guess I'll just keep going. This uh, guy right who's... now. Who's going first? I will. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Roy, you move into the uh, into the passageway, and as you move along, the glowing in your hand starts to return and intensify, and you're starting to feel sort of that surge in uh, in power inside your body that you did before, not in an eruptive way, but you are just starting to feel. This uh, this sense of confidence and ability that is really amazing welling up inside you as you move along this passageway. Roll me uh, a perception check, Roy. That is a 15 total. 
15 total. You also see the uh, the mirage up ahead before you walk through it. Dude, I'm, I'm feeling fucking weird. Like, good. But like, uh, okay. That's, weird. I mean, that's nice. I, I, fucking, I can't see shit, man. Is my hand glowing that much to where I can just be like... It's glowing. It's like a glow stick. You know, if you'd cracked it, it's definitely throwing off some light. You you can sort of see things right around you. It's not nearly as bright as your cell phone, which is throwing light, you know, 10 feet down down the passageway. Okay, so I'm just going to keep my cell phone up and be like, do you see that down there? Like, that fucking... Yeah, it's a rock. Yep. Bert, roll, roll, roll a perception check, please. Four. All right, you do not see anything. At all. <laughs> you don't see that yeah. shimmery shit down there? Yeah, yeah your hand? Yeah, the flat? No, I don't, not, I don't, my, I, not my fucking hand. Like, all the way down, there's a fucking, nah. uh, like, shimmery, damn, like, veil or some shit. Nah, dude. I just, it looks all, it's just dark. What on your fucking cell phone light? Oh. Like I do. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. All right, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't see now. It's just still, it's just dark down there. What are you, I don't know what's shimmering or nothing. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, man. I'm going to keep uh, going down. Okay. Of course, I haven't found Johnny yet, so. Uh, sure. J Money. You step through the mirage and this feeling of ice water hits you and it is not pleasant at all it feels like daggers of ice you uh you scream but bert can't hear you and it uh you're almost just submerged in this uh in in, the, in this in this fluid like i it's like liquid nitrogen is what it feels like and you can't breathe and you can't see and it just feels like you want to die for just a moment and then you emerge out the other side that's fucking weird why bert when you go and you don't you don't see any of this when roy goes through he he kind of he kind of glitches almost for a moment, like in a in a in a computer game. He just kind of like when the internet cuts out for a moment. He just he kind of glitches like like you were playing and have a bad internet connection and a character jumped ahead. That that's kind of what it looks like. Roy did. You're not hearing Roy say anything, and then Roy seems to be fine on the other side of the path uh, of uh, just a couple feet ahead. Roy. Oh God! Where I I can see him. You can see him. He can't. He didn't okay. seem to hear you. He's he's yeah. He didn't seem to hear you. Oh, Roy freaked me out, dude. Oh, that was that was weird. You're just like gone or something. You know, it's like you were there and then you weren't there and now you're there again. And oh, I thought oh, I thought I was all by myself. Roy is just like walking. To... Yeah, I I would assume that you that was a horrible experience and you're probably a bit stunned, but. Yeah, like, you're, there's nowhere to go but forward. And then, Bert, as you're having these talks, all of a sudden you have the exact same experience of submersion, uh, oh God. pain, pain oh. needles, daggers, liquid Ooh. nitrogen. Uh, you can't breathe. You can't see. It's it's a horrible experience. And then you're on the other side. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh. Right? Up ahead, Jay, you have uh, come to a place that leaves you standing in awe. This tunnel, this four foot by four foot tunnel in the dirt has opened out into a fantastic cavern. The ceilings here are probably 20, 25 feet high. There's stalactites and stalagmites. There's pools of water off on the far side and you can see it's almost like an underground lake on the far side of this cavern. There are roots that dangle down from the ceiling, like um, I almost like confet, like um, 
like uh, like birthday confetti, you know, when people sort of string the, the paper stuff from the ceiling. But suspended probably, as you look up, it's probably 15 feet to the bottom of these dangling roots. And you see uh, a passageway running out both sides. Uh, you see a passageway that seems to be heading back towards the chapel. So it's running more south, uh, southeast. And uh, you see a, uh, a northern passageway leading out and away from the chapel. I think I got to go show my, uh, my, my friends this. Like I, I, I kind of, I've been walking for a little bit. I feel like my head's cooled down a little. So I'm going to turn around before, but I need to show them. Because I don't know that they're following me. No, right? you don't have any idea. Yeah. So I'm just going to head back that way. And with the intention of leaving the hole and bringing them down in here. You don't walk very far before you come face to face oh. with Roy, <sighs> whose ah. who's hand is glow. You see Roy uh, up ahead because of his glowing right hand. You look like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> to infinity and beyond, bro. Like you guys, you guys feel that like that yeah. chill? What? Yeah, it was horrible. It fucking yeah. sucked, dude. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> you I guys, I was dying. Of- Okay, I, I had a great time. Sorry, you guys don't enjoy the nice cold water. Did you ever? You never go swimming? It was just like going swimming. It was not like going swimming. You ever been stabbed? It was like that. Like yeah, a don't thousand. you remember like Leo's speech in the fucking Titanic when he's yeah, that, talking, oh, you know, about remember. how fucking much it sucks to fall in cold water? Like that's exactly what happened. Exactly. I don't know. Which, I felt like I was having a nice time. Anyways, you gotta see this. Go, come what? here. This is right. crazy. I didn't know. Th- why do we not go outside more? Outdoors <laughs> is so cool. I go outdoors all the time. Okay. Yeah, why don't I, I, I listen I, to I you didn't... and actually get up? Okay. Why? Why do I not go outside more? <laughs> I okay. don't know, Wait. bro. I and I quote: Why would I go outside? I can just play video games. Yeah. Okay. But did you? You haven't seen this yet, and I think I've changed my okay. whole life around because of this view. Uh, right, and I want right, to take right. him into the cavern. Sure. As you move into the cavern, your voices go from this uh, muted conversation where the earth around you is absorbing the sound to uh, massive echoes. And I as you talk, I mean, your voice is echoing all around this this cavern. It's like beautiful. 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 Bro. 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 Oh, this, is, this is pretty sweet, dude. Right? Wow. That uh, the like root structures on the top, they kind of look like you know, you know what is that? Creepy paper? Crepe, creepy paper. Crepe, crepe paper? Oh, crepe paper, like crepes. It looks like crepes, like little There's tiny pancakes. Fucking, it's, you it's, know, like the goddamn thing. streamers they used to do all the time on you know fucking birthday yeah. parties. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it looks like when I, uh, so back when I was a kid, you know, we used to go out and we get toilet paper. I don't know if you ever heard of this, but we go to the store, we get a bunch of toilet paper, and we throw it over people's houses. And it kind of looks like that. Johnny, yeah. everybody's, done that. everybody's done that. You know, on your Christmas tree, when you take tinsel and you just kind of like throw it all over the tree, it kind of looks like that. We couldn't. We had a dog that ate too much tinsel, so we 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 weren't allowed to have tinsel on our tree growing up. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't know. No. It was before I was... I didn't know the dog. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, so we have a couple paths here, though. Are we... We said we gotta get out. Are we trying to... Where are we going? Where are we, we going? Gotta, we, don't we, we gotta go back. We gotta talk to... to the police are coming. I don't... Uh, I don't, I don't think they're that. really let's coming, get, dude. Yeah, let's just get... I talked to them. Like, dude, do we want to be... There's so many dead people, and, like, there's bugs. I feel like they're just gonna blame us. But we're not bug people. We can't do bug things to people. They don't know that we did bug things, you know? They just they just see dead people. Roy, you're since you came through that agonizing experience, you were feeling powerful in a way you've never felt before. And for whatever reason, you're pretty certain if you go back through that, you're not going to feel this way again. I'm feeling... Call me crazy. I feel like we should see where this goes. I don't feel like we should go back. I feel like we need to stay. All right, but we're doing this. I'm going to take a Xanax. 
All right, dude. You got the cock keys, so. They have the cock keys. I mean, what kind everybody, of Everybody, once again, everybody <laughs> roaming perception checks all around. See, now that the you guys key. out in this cavern, you're shining your lights. Imagine being in an underground cavern, just like if you went spelunking. And all you have is your cell phone lights. That's that's the so, experience you guys are having. Let's, so it's, too, it's it's dark. Yeah, so it's sit. like um it's like that Doom in space game. Uh, with the you know what I mean, the one where you can't see anything and everything is super dark. You know, remember that one? Like the horror Doom game. I can't yes. remember which one it was. You mean Doom? No, no, no. It's not the. No, oh, it came. Out, it was like one of the first PlayStation Four games. Yes, that's. Oh. The, I remember. It's kind of I, a Resident Evil feel, you know, I, where you've got your flashlight yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's super dark outside your flashlight. That's that's the feeling. Yeah, that's I worked at GameStop when that came out, and I rented it, and I played it, and it gave me nightmares, so I took it back. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Yeah. Yeah. I feel really that, I, I, just, just I got a 17. Old yeah. Doom. I, got I got a 17, 18. 18. I got an unnatural one. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I am zero. not perceptive. It's every perception roll... I have rolled a three or lower. Yeah, Jay Lachey is like, look at this. It actually, you see uh, these rocks? Yeah, you accidentally. I uh, see a rock phone, like this. Your cell phone light is cutting in and out, and so you're mostly trying to charge your cell phone night, to come back. And on. I, I was supposed, I, I, I meant to charge it. <laughs> Bert, what'd you get? I got a seventeen. All right, so Bert, you uh, are looking around and. The pond on the other side of the cavern is, is fairly interesting to you, so you kind of make your way over there. That's the only uh, only only motion that that you come across is in this pond, and so you look, and there are uh, tiny fish in this underground pond. And as you kind of uh, look down on them with your light, they don't seem to care. You realize these fish have no eyes. These are eyeless fish that have obviously lived in this underground pond or in connecting underground aquifer for uh for a quite a long time enough that they have decided they don't need eyes and uh and to be eyeless yeah so you yeah exactly it's, it's quite cool but with this you do recognize and realize that you are deep underground and if you're going to have eyeless fish this is probably nowhere close to an outside water source it's not like they're swimming out into some pond somewhere and uh, yeah and Roy, again, you're, you're having sort of this feeling of power. And uh, as you look around, you what you notice are the drag marks uh, on the ground. And you find a uh, corsage that's a coral and white corsage that's uh, laying in the center of the cavern. And these sort of drag marks that seem to head north away from the chapel. Guys. Uh, I found, uh, this. Oh, shit. Is that, uh, is that from Alex? No, uh, hers was bigger. This is, this is from one of the bridesmaids, yeah. Should we follow it? I'm feeling... I'm feeling some type of way, and I feel like I'm gonna follow it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you and that uh, that glowy hand uh, going out front. Yeah, of course. Light the way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, you know, one and time. I charged my phone last night. I was spent. Yeah, me too. Man. <laughs> uh, there was a time when I was younger. I uh, I was at the the water fires in Providence. And my mom got me a, uh, <laughs> she got me a glow stick and I accidentally bit it I, and it got all over my mouth. And I, I had a, they, my mouth was, it, that's what your hands making me think of is like glow stick. Yeah. You, Roy, you think that's funny. And <laughs> you imagine, yeah. you imagine Jay Lachey. With glow yeah. stick stuff all over his face. <laughs> and then you feel a similar rush of power that you felt up on the surface. And all of a sudden, there are <laughs> these, there's this glowing green fluid 
on Jay Lachey's face. Like it just sort of pops into being and it's almost like a combination of a ruptured glow stick and fireworks. It pop, 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 ah. it's all over his face. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Did not taste as good as I remember. <laughs> what was that? Roy, you're sure you made that? I don't know. That was funny as hell, though. I have fucking no idea what that was. Uh, one time when I was younger, I found a million dollars. Nothing. So I don't. Nothing. I don't like this place. <laughs> uh, hey, Roy, how do you feel about about his million dollar joke? Uh, I feel like that's funnier than the other thing. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, roll me. Um, roll me a performance check real quick. Uh, let's see. Got a uh, eleven. Okay. You um you decide that the money idea is funny and that you wanted to uh to show him a million dollars and you focus on the ground and a pile of hundred dollar bills appears on the ground. It's not nearly the pile of money you had in mind, but you have created this money sitting on the ground, just a, just a stack of banded hundred dollar bills. Whoa, are you see anything I say comes into existence? Are you seeing this? Yeah, dude, dude I saw uh, it. Dude, say something else. Uh, say something uh, get get Johnny back. I, I I wish Johnny was back. I mean one time when I was younger, my mom bought me a Johnny. Try to keep up with the, the pattern. Johnny? Can I can I try to conjure like a fucking yeah, you try, to, you, try to conjure, you try to conjure Johnny, and so roll me another performance check. Let's see how you do. Oh, uh, 18. Oh, you, uh, you do the exact same thing, and Johnny is there, standing Whoa. motionless in the dark cavern. Johnny. He's Johnny. not blinking, he's not moving, he's not, but he is just standing there the way you remember him, Roy. I got fucking chills right now, dude. I'm gonna go touch him appropriately. Dude, don't touch, don't touch, don't, 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 don't. I, I fucking did that. What? What do you mean you did that? I, I, I was fucking around with you at first, but like, I. Well, that's not a way to fuck around with someone. You can't just make the dead. Well, I didn't get... know I was gonna do, be able to do it. So I fucking. I just Johnny. Thought about it, and it fucking happened. Don't touch it though. I don't fucking know what it is. So, so he's what do you so I don't get it. How did you do that? I don't fucking know. Does it have to do with your glowing hand? I did you I think so? Do but, you know what do you what do you do you know anything about the bugs? No, I don't know nothing about the fucking bugs. Well, I don't know anything did, about the bugs. I don't know because your hand started glowing. You started shooting laser beams. You're making our dead friend appear. You made a million dollars appear and glow sticks. Dude, it's and not even a million dollars. It's, not, it's, it's like, like barely. Yeah, yeah, I've never, like seen a, never seen a million dollars. So <laughs> I, I just was guessing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Of, it's more money than I've ever seen. Has Has John Balvier moved at all? Nope. He's not. Yeah. He's not at this point. This is just creepy. He's not blinking. He's not breathing. He's just standing. I'm just going to dissipate him. Yeah, then he phew, he's gone. <sighs> you saw that? So that wasn't him. We couldn't, like, speak to him. No. See, like, watch. Tell me something to fucking think about, and I'll fucking make it appear. Other than Johnny, I'm not doing that again. Uh, how about two twenty-two bullets? All right. Running out, like running out of ammo. I was thinking Jessica I, Alba, but you're going with like with bullets. I was just trying to think practical, you know. The whole if she gets another person in here, that'd be weird. Okay, just, that was yeah, that's crazy. fair. Well, I didn't know maybe he's Call dead. So. Of, like eight. Oh, I didn't. How do you? Okay. Um, how do you imagine these bullets? Like, are they in your hand? Are they in the ground? What, 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 yeah, what in think? my hand. 
All right. So you um, you imagine the bullets and they are essentially transparent in your hands. Like your uh, your friends can look at the bullets and see your hand underneath them. And I'm not good at like that, but see. So can you like, I don't know, can you make like like a path for us or something to just get us to where are we trying to go? But there's We're a fucking to find... path in the ground, bro. Like of where they was dragging the bodies. Like is we'll, the money we'll... still on the ground? Yeah, it's just sitting there. I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah, your hand passes through it. Ah, okay. It's not That's... real. It's not real. Sorry. No, no it's cool. It's okay. You I mean, know. it's better than nothing. I've, at least I got to see a million bucks. That's not fucking. That's not what I'm really talking about. Okay, 900,000. It was weird, but we got to see Johnny. Yeah, not a goop pile. Yeah. Jeez. All right. Do we want to... I don't want to dwell. <laughs> do we want to find what I'm assuming is going to be a body at this point, if we're lucky? Yeah. All right. Maybe... Yeah, if we're down here, we're, we're, our options are what? Go deeper in or... We go back to the surface, I at which mean, point we're just wandering around the woods until we go. Yeah. Like, we oh, gotta, thanks. we gotta find Alex, dude. Yeah, just we to, do. Just to be clear, the last time you saw Alex, she was very much alive. She was very much trying not to go into the hole and failing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, fingers crossed, but I'm not. I yeah, I'm, like, I'm not optimistic. No hopes. Like, but. Like a little bit of hope. Yeah, part of me is really hoping. Yeah. Yeah. But be prepared for the worst. Yeah. Prepare for the, expect the worst, but hope expect for the like best. Expect what we saw in the fucking parking lot, but with like a best friend's lady. Yeah, and she. Well, I, I don't know what you guys saw. Uh, some. Captain some it, girl. Yeah, it was not. It was not fun. All right, let's go. All right, uh, all right, crazy hand. You first. Me? Oh, no. sorry. I used to be called Crazy Hands back when I played poker. Yeah, you had that hot streak in Vegas. We started calling you. Sorry, that's my. That's, no, that's it's okay. me a little bit. Yeah, I, I feel Go like back. Roy's kind of Crazy Hand now. That's fair. Oh, you remember, I, I you remember when Crazy Hand. Yeah, yeah. You remember when? Remember Johnny? He, uh, <laughs> we went into that. We went out one place and he just disappeared for like oh, yeah. two hours and he comes back and he just starts handing us 500 bucks each. I know. He's, he's like, uh, uh, he's just the greatest dude. Yeah. I, he, he was the greatest dude. Hey. Let's, let's go, go find him. Alex. Let's go find yeah. Alex. The least yeah. we can do. All right, guys. So that's our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was, uh, I, had, I had super fun with this one. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we drop new episodes every two weeks. Our next episode is coming out Saturday, October the 17th. We do uh, we do like a Saturday morning cartoon type thing. So 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we roll out live videos for the new episode as it goes live. Check us out on YouTube and Facebook. You can search BragPod and generally find us everywhere. Blue Ridge Adventures Guild on YouTube. We'd love to see you there. Um, watch out for giant insects. <laughs> see you later, gang. Bye.